Well, it's Aubrey Shepard on the um, 8th of September, 2016. Still disappointed my uh, team from Louisiana Tech didn't beat the Hogs. It was a one-point loss. Okay, here's a win, though. Monarch Butterfly, a male. You can see the spots there on his uh, back, lower back wings. And uh, he's nectaring on honey vine milkweed. This is a common little vine that grows up, sprouts up all over the place. People mow it down. It, uh, it, in this case, it's climbing up a wall. Uh, I'm not sure what, a drain pipe or something to get up the side of the house. And this guy's enjoying that. He's in the shade where he is. So that's the wall he's on. That's in downtown Fayetteville. I'm not going to give you the address, but you can see the butterfly straight in the middle there. Got back to him, and uh, that's a, you know, a source of food for monarch caterpillars. So please preserve honey vine milkweed wherever you find it and let it live through the season. Okay, this is a Rubrocina virginica, and that's a tiny... Uh, creature I can't name, and I haven't had time to look it up, but it's a beautiful little member of the Lepidoptera family, and uh, it also it could be found on milkweed like this. Okay, this is Calicarpus whatever. Anyway, it's American Beauty Berry, and it's a valuable fall food source for various living creatures. Here's a, a late blooming aster and a tiny skipper on it. And of course that aster is about uh, a little bigger than my thumb. And uh, what I'm saying, my thumbnail in reality. And so I was getting close ups and also cropping for this. I think this is Mr. some Joe Pie Weed and uh, we'll see, yep, another view. That one I might have, maybe I adjusted the color a little too much there, but anyway. This uh, was a, a dried up uh, aster. It's a member of the aster family. It's echinacea, and uh, here's a, see the tiny bug on that? I worked hard trying to adjust the color so you could see the, the detail of that little bug. And this is Pinnacle Food Wet Prairie. And here's Bone Set with a beautiful tiny um, tailed, not a tailed blue, but a, a uh, in the same general category of uh, butterflies. And here's a wasp. This is also on bone set. And this is Pinnacle Prairie. Here's another little insect I can't identify or haven't tried to. See how small he is? He's smaller than the bumblebee near him. So I had to crop trying to get closer and show more detail. First time I remember ever seeing that particular insect. And that's when I really go nuts trying hard to get a decent picture of these guys. But it is a flower fly. See the eyes? And here we are looking at a monarch butterfly on a ironweed. And then this is a not a monarch. Do you see that line down the side there? Just cuts across. Well, that's a viceroy butterfly. Until next time, do your part to help keep the water clean and your pure in the woods green. See you. Hi, it's Aubrey Shepard again on the 8th of September 2016. Let's see some photos from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Okay, this is Red Top Purple or, or Red Top Panicum grass. You see the tiny stems? How? Well, that that's in, indicative of a Panicum family. There are a bunch of panic grasses. This is a little blue stem 
grass and I'm squeezing it up to show you what it looks like in hand and try to show more detail. This is big blue steel. No, this, this is actually Indian grass you're looking at here. And notice it's, it's yellow and in, in the back of it, just behind the row of Indian grass, that's big blue stem. And here's, uh, I think this is the big blue stem or the Indian, I can't tell the, <laughs> the flowers apart sometimes unless I know what I was making a picture of. Okay, there you see little blue stem leaning out to the right, big blue stem crossing it to the left. This is uh, Asclepius viridi flora. We've shown these from, oh, I don't know, two and a half months ago, the same plant maybe, and it's uh, still got some life in it, but uh, a lot of the leaves have been eaten, I hope, by monarch caterpillars that have hatched and gone on to fly around there. Notice this uh, buckeye butterfly was damaged, but he was still active. You know, they, they fight to the end of their lives till a bird finally eats them up. This is Gora, Gora longifolia, and uh, it's a beautiful, mostly late summer in the fall blooming uh, flower in Pinnacle, like Pinnacle Prairie and many other places around the world. Okay, now we're looking at swamp milkweed with some monarchs on it. And these, several, some of these same butterflies, some of them are different ones on this patch of swamp milkweed. You can see the water behind it there. It's growing right in the edge, just uh, where its roots are always have access to water. So these, uh, these are very important because the, right now, this time in September is when the eggs are being laid by pairs of monarchs that uh, will be the ones who hatch out and fly south, spend the winter in Mexico, and fly back. So it's so important not to destroy milkweed this time of the year, to have some available in your yard if possible. Okay, these uh, are Bidens, these plants. And Okay, here's a caterpillar, but it's not a monarch. This is a black swallowtail caterpillar. And so many people confuse the two of them. But if it's on milkweed, it's not one of these. It would then be a similar looking critter. This is a young, very young, inexperienced uh, bird who's with its parents being supervised on how to scarf up food. And here is what we usually see only as a tall, tall thing. This is cup plant, and this is at World Peace Wetland Prairie, and it's the back view. Now, here's the front view of it, and uh, didn't get as close up a picture. This is red spotted purple butterfly, and these are beautiful, and they're pretty common right now this time of year in South Bell, Arkansas. Okay, here's a chrysalis. I don't know what it's going to be. That thing's about the size of the last joint of your smallest finger or smaller. And yes, I color adjusted to try to show you the detail. And here's the last shot of an ironweed with a monarch on it. See ya.